morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Molars Workshop. Yes, it's a great workshop, and here at the Molars Workshop, what we do is we focus on technological wonders and marvels of our modern age. Yes, and today we'll be talking about a specific type of technology that has changed the face of modern man. Yes, and what could that technology be? What kind of fascinating new invention are we gonna look at today? It's going to blow you away when you find out what it is, because it's not what you're thinking. We will not be talking about this today. But what we are going to be talking about, don't hold your breath too long, we are going to be talking about the Roach Motel. No! Yes, this piece of equipment, this device that no household should be without. No kitchen, no bedroom, no garage should be without one of these. And I'm telling you why. You're gonna find out because we are going to expose today the Roach Motel. <coughs> For many of you who have never ever experienced the capabilities of this technology, I will give you a tour through some of its abilities and we will dissect one of these to show you just what is actually inside that makes them so wonderful. So when you get one, they're just in this cardboard box. And if you open it up, these are normally sealed in uh, poly plastic. But since the first recording that I made of this video failed, we had to do it over again. I love this little camera that I have. It just keeps blowing me away with how many weird technological irritations it has. Ah, technology ain't great. So, here is the Roach Motel. It is a very simple box. There's no little sign. I wish there was. It would have been really cute if they put a little sign that says, Roach Motel, please come in. They check in, but they don't check out, right? So, there's not much to it. You can see, it's just a square hole, and inside there's this glue trap. And one of the things also that you notice when you first open it up, very pleasant maple syrup smell. I guess roaches love maple syrup. So we're going to open it up and show you what is actually inside of one of these. There are three distinct strips of glue and two distinct strips of maple syrup smell stuff. Because I don't think that's real maple syrup. I think they used fake maple syrup. I don't want to taste it and find out because it may kill me. <sighs> At least I hope it doesn't. Anyway, so, and what's really neat is when you're done inspecting the insides, you can easily assemble it back together again. See that? See how nicely that went back together? Whoops, that tab is not. There. Those tabs have to be like that. Because a roach will walk in, and then he'll drop down in there. And when he drops down in there, he drops right on a glue trap. Ha! Ah, caught! So... That is the Roach Motel when it's brand new. Let's take a look at it and see what it's like after it's not so brand new, after they've been sitting around for a little while. That's probably the most fascinating thing. And we're gonna take a little field trip, you and I. We're gonna go walk through my house and we're gonna explore the various locations where these devices are residing. And then we're gonna take one apart and show you the residents who are currently living inside and dying too, I think. Anyway, come with me. We're gonna take a walk. We're gonna take a tour through my house. Yes. Come with me. This is the kitchen. And there's my dog. Actually, he's not my dog. He's Liz's dog. And in the kitchen, we have one roach motel that lives here up on the sink where the dishes hide. And then we have one over here next to the coffee machine. Because I guess cockroaches love coffee. See, so I don't know if you can see the little residents that are currently living inside. There aren't very many. In fact, some of the residents that are in there are spiders and moths. I didn't show you the ones that were in this one. Yes, there are a few good ones in there, isn't there? You know what's really cool about Roach Motels? They have two sides. So once you're done using one side and it gets pretty populated, you just flip it back over. 
And now you got another side, so you can get new residents. Okay, hey, check it out. This is the best one of all, and I'm saving it for last because it's the most magnificent one. This is the great Roach Motel of all of them. It's that one right there. Why is this one so great? Because apparently the garage attracts some of the largest breeds of roaches I have ever seen. It is really quite disturbing. It's like a horror movie. So this is the one I've decided that we're going to open up and let you see. It's truly remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> one of them is in there hanging by its antennas, I think. Uh, uh, hmm. Yes, this is the thing that nightmares are made of. Look at that. I don't know if you can see him in there. He's like hanging on by a thread. So what I'm going to do, we'll set it on the stage here. Hopefully he doesn't come walking out, because if he does, you're going to see me clobber him. There. That is the Roach Motel with many residents. And they aren't just ordinary residents. They are fairly large residents. Yes. Yes, isn't that great? Then you want to just send this home to your mom and your dad? Hey, Mom! Dad, look! I caught roaches in my roach motel! <laughs> that is really disgusting. As you notice, some of them are even still moving, too. That's okay. They won't be moving for long. They will turn into crispy critters. <sighs> yes, this is truly a great little device. And I'll have to tell you, right now... What's really remarkable and wonderful about this particular invention is this particular aspect, and that is this. I don't ever have to worry about it when I'm done with it, and I think it has totally got enough residents living in it. I only have to do this and make a contribution to the landfill. Magnificent, isn't it? In conclusion, to this magnificent expose on modern technology, this product is a good product. It's fairly inexpensive. It's hypoallergenic, and it doesn't cause cancer in rats. But it does kill cockroaches, and that's good. Occasionally crickets will get in here. I would rather the cricket be in here than in my house. It's okay if they stay outside. I like crickets outside, just not in my house. And it's true for spiders. Sometimes you find spiders in these things. Spiders can stay outside, all right? And that is all for today. You just keep looking for new technology. If you guys have any suggestions of things you want me to do an expose on, send me uh, recommendations in the comments below this video. Thank you and have a great day. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.